Greetings, I'm L Robots. Sitting on the floor because I wanted to have this as my backdrop and I decided to hang it like six inches from the floor. But enough of that because, oops, gonna be making a companion piece to my previous project, my Mario vinyl paint pour here. Uh, Mario's just been kind of hanging out on the wall for the past couple months by himself, throwing a fireball at nothing and that's just not right. So I'm uh, going to do the same basic process. I have a couple things I want to try and improve upon to not use quite so much resin uh, this time. But yeah, basically just wanted to do another one of these. Uh, like dumping paint and resin on records and it looks pretty awesome. So that's going to pretty much be the project. Hey, that worked. Alright guys, let's try this again without me dropping this. So here's my Bowser template that I made and traced out of some paper. Got a little fireball here. So I'm going to take my Dremel tool, uh, trace around here so I know where I'm going to cut on the scroll saw. And then obviously going to take it over here to the scroll saw and cut it out. So there we have our Bowser uh, cutout. Actually pretty cool, I might use him for something at some point. Uh, there he is, I think he looks pretty good. Gonna just take this fireball out of here. All right, so here is our uh, final product off the scroll saw here. It's very flimsy. Next step, I'm gonna just kind of fine tune all these parts that we didn't get the scroll saw. Then we're gonna plastic the bottom here so we can put the resin in, we're going to put the resin in, and we're just going to finish it with all the fine touches we need to do. I'm not going to spoil it and look at it under the UV light quite yet, but it's pretty see-through here, so that'll look awesome on the wall. I'm um, going to just have to sand this a little bit so we can put a uh, final coat of resin on the top, and that's going to be about it.
Um, finish the project, yeah! So, main goals we wanted from this were to create a companion piece to my Mario project. He needed an adversary on the wall. Got Bowser here, so that's done. I got to dump some paint and some resin on a record. Got that done. And I uh, used a lot less resin on this. It's much lighter than the other one. I used like 10 ounces on Mario, 6 ounces on this. So that's kind of the goal when you're doing any resin project is to utilize your resin because it's expensive. So uh, the only thing I really am not happy about with on here is my own fault and that's the fireball. Uh, I was kind of lazy. I made it too nice and neat. I should have roughed it up a little bit and made it look more like a fireball and not a demented ice cream scoop or something you might find in your yard after your dog uh, goes outside. Use your imagination. I'm happy with how it turned out. I really like the paint pour I did in the background. Fluorescent uh, yellow and orange always tend to come out a little bit brighter on these I find, particularly the orange tempera paint that I use for these. So very, very bright against the wall. And you know, that's kind of the project. Just wanted to do something simple. Anyway guys, uh, thank you for watching. Any likes or subscriptions, always greatly appreciated. Hoping to get those numbers up into double digits here. Um, but just, you know, stay creative, stay safe. Crazy time in the world here. Just, you know, if you need a break, uh, just make something out of whatever you got laying around. Even if it's a piece of notebook paper and a pen, just go outside and draw something. Uh, but stay safe, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching. See, I can do this when there's no pressure, but then I drop it every other time. <laughs>